Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to verify and connect your domain to Microsoft 365. I am on this uh, Microsoft 365 homepage. We will uh, click on the admin icon here and uh, it will move into the admin center so we can manage everything in here. Uh, if you can hit on show all so we can see the security, compliance, endpoint manager, exchange online, SharePoint teams and everything is there. So we can uh, manage everything not only those uh, things I have mentioned earlier but also the billing support we can create support requests so we can manage users and we can assign roles and manage them so everything we can manage uh, from this admin center this is the main uh, portal where we can do all the things and even uh, we can go to the other admin centers as well uh, so let's uh, go ahead and add a domain uh, a custom domain uh, which we want we'll uh, go to the settings and uh, then to the domain i'm going to uh, hit on settings and then here so you can see uh, we have the options called domain right uh, so i'm going to click on add domain here or else uh, if if i don't have a custom domain uh, i can go ahead and buy uh, from here so uh, since i'm already having custom domain i'm going to um, uh, hit on add domain in here so all i have to do is uh, now uh, uh, add the domain name uh, of my domain name here and um, uh, click on uh, use this domain so once i type uh, the domain name so this uh, uh, button here will uh, appear uh, let's uh, type my domain here first Okay, now I'm going to verify the domain first uh, by selecting the first option here. Uh, add a TXT record uh, for the domain DNS record. Uh, and, and we'll do it manually as well. Uh, let's click on continue. And these are the values uh, we have to update the DNS registrar from where we have purchased the domain name and, and we can just copy it from here and paste it there uh, and once we have updated it there uh, and we can come back to this place and verify it again so what i'm going to do is is now as i mentioned so i'm going to copy this value and i'm, go I'm going to jump into the my dns register in this case is slanka host so i'm going to uh, so um, this is my uh, this is my domain register site uh, for my domain and i'm already on this dns manager so now i'm going to add uh, add a record um, as you can see uh, and here add new now i'm going to add a record uh, and as you can see the type should be uh, txt record uh, uh, and the host would be just a symbol or a blank uh, or you don't have to add it uh, if it is already added in here but we can uh, confirm the same uh, in the m 360 by admin center uh, so what are the records are uh, and the point two uh, value will always be the ms the value which is uh, given us given to us by the microsoft uh, on the domain verification page so we can go back and forth uh, on this page and uh, check the same so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the ms value in here and i'm going to uh, dns manager and, and and i'm going to uh, paste it in here uh, point two section and uh, save so you can see uh, the ms record is now updated in here let's go back to our newly added txt record so i can check on some uh, values like ttl Uh, we can verify the TTL here uh, is same as the M365 verification page. Uh, we have the TXT name uh, 
already here uh, which is already a part of the host name so we don't uh, we are not going to uh, replace it or uh, we'll just keep it blank and and uh, so i'm going to go back and uh, you can refresh the uh, this uh, dns page and confirm the entry uh, is there and uh, we can wait for a few minutes and uh, let's go back to our uh, verification page and uh, click on verify it does take some time to update it but uh, you can come back and uh, check again now you can see uh, we have, we are in the uh, page uh, how do you want to connect your domain so i'm going to uh, go in we go ahead with uh, this first option and, and you can see here that microsoft will provide us a set of records so which will uh, need to uh, we will need to add uh, to the domain register so i'm going to go ahead and click on continue so in this uh, page this wizard is asking which service services we want to add so we can see uh, the exchange and exchange online protection and the other advanced options are we can see Skype for Business, Intune and Mobile Device Management and Domain Key Identified Mail, DKIM. So, so we can select these uh, options and go ahead and uh, uh, update the records. So uh, what I'm going to go to do is uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, add this DNS record for my DNS register page so I can manage the information services. So first we go ahead with the MS record. So uh, it will take some time to update these records. So we wait uh, for a couple of minutes or maybe 30 minutes or 10 minutes and we'll uh, try and uh, try to uh, hit on continue and refresh the page. There you go. So we can see our domain setup is complete now. So I can uh, 
we don't done here So uh, previously we configured exchange online. Now it's time for us to do the Skype for business, Intune and mobile device management and DKIM. Okay, when it's come to the uh, SRV record update, so we need to follow some uh, guidelines. Uh, so there are some uh, re restrictions and, and work around for them. So let's go ahead and uh, check uh, what we need to do. Uh, so let us scroll down a little bit uh, to find uh, where are the information relates to SRV records. A little bit more. So there we have uh, something. Okay, uh, here we have the service and protocol. Uh, so when it comes to the SRE records uh, name update, so we need to mention this name uh, as mentioned in the example. So uh, it's underscore sip dot underscore TLS. So that's service and protocol. Uh, so we need to mention the, these two together as mentioned in this example. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, create our records uh, uh, according to this uh, example. Add a new record, sorry, and if you can see this domain register, also um, uh, guiding how uh, and providing the example how we should uh, enter the uh, host name here. So it's service and the protocol.
now it shows uh, our uh, some records are there and all verified and but uh, few are needs to be uh, updated uh, we may need to uh, wait for a couple of minutes uh, to update these few more minutes i think I think uh, it's completed now so we can go ahead and click on done so let's go back and check on the NS records but only we can see uh, only uh, Microsoft Exchange is there so uh, we may have to log off and log back in uh, to the portal uh, to see other records okay I'm uh, logged off and log logging back into the uh, Microsoft 362 admin center so let's go to the domain and go to the DNS records all right so we can see all the records are there so it's a success now uh, yeah okay uh, I think uh, we are uh, we are we are able to uh, complete the things thank you for watching have a nice day